Okay, going back to this question from Praveen about um, making nested drop down menus, uh, navbar and bootstrap studio. And I did the video the other day um, where I was doing like a prototype to, to do that, but bootstrap studio, you, you really can't do them that effectively in there. So what I've done is I've, uh, I've made a workable example. Um, and here I've put it on code pen and this is what I've come out with. So what happens when you, you do home? That can go to anywhere you want. So that's just your normal A link uh, about and then you've got your contact. Hover me. Okay, so this is what happens. Then you're nested and then you can go on and on and on like that. Um, this is also responsive. So when you come down to here, even without Bootstrap Studio, this is still responsive. Okay, this pure CSS3 uh, drop down menu is just a it's just a bit of a drop box thing. If you look on the left hand side, you can see how much uh, goes into these things, and this is only with four uh, four main things and uh, three five sub uh, links. And all this down here, I mean, there's an awful lot of code to do that. And if you, that's just a simple one, when you say simple, that doesn't mean it's not not um, difficult to code because there can be. Um, so down here, that goes to 101 lines of code. Um, and also on here, the HTML bit goes to 36. And that's without the tags. <coughs> With the tags, uh, which is, I did this in Tweak style, um, and I think I got to something like 150, um, you know, the lines of code. So it is, it's a, it's very, very difficult to, to do something like that in Bootstrap Studio, and I certainly wouldn't feel comfortable, because there's a lot of tweaking about with it, um, and it doesn't really lend itself. Anyway, so I've put a version into here as well, and I've done this on the um, on the left hand side there where it says drop down nested menu um, so yeah so just get that out there and zoom out um, so this is what it looks like um, they're very similar but they're not the same for some reason Bootstrap Studio um, doesn't like the original and that works in all browsers um, Edge, Internet Explorer Firefox, uh, Chrome, all of them. For some reason, though, it doesn't like to work. There's a contraindication with um, some of Bootstrap Studio's files, obviously. So, okay, we've got this here. Um, and there's your, um, something like a tablet. And all these here can all be changed color-wise and everything like that. This is just a demonstration. So everything's working there. The, the demo um, is, you know, on code pen, you can change font size, uh, you can change colors, and you can just do them how you want, you know. Um, but yeah, so thanks to, um, you know, like sort of the question there, because that really is a, I found that a bit of a challenge, actually. I've never done a menu for a long time, and uh, quite pleased with the outcome, really. Um, so I'll just show you what it looks like in Edge from Bootstrap Studio. Um, so there you go. So that's basically what it looks like on a, on a mobile phone. Um, just bring this down if I can, but yeah. Okay, so where the hover me is, and then you go hover, nest, nested, and then you can go on and on and on, however you want, and you can have more than one drop down menu um so yeah so as you as you as you go along and then it uh, just goes into the um the response of web design so anybody that um interested in this i'll put the description of where the new link is for code pen um and anybody that wants the kind of get on there um you know just ask us about the you know the code and everything like that um, and I'll maybe put it onto uh, my site, but I haven't got it on there at the moment. So anyway, 
that's a, that's a very good question and uh, yeah, a challenge and it'll be interesting to have some more challenges like that. It'll be, be good fun. So again, thanks a lot for watching and thanks for listening.